my god, I'm so excited to see some uni. Welcome everyone to Undernight in Birth EXE Late Cis. Oh no, they actually took that part out. Just Undernight in Birth Cis Celeste now. Undernight. The name's a little less ridiculous. A little less ridiculous. Um, so we're up to top four. Okay. We've got everything is as seated, I believe. Um, top two seeds are Mr. B and Elemental. They'll be playing winners finals. Three and four seeds are yeah. in losers. And that is um, me and Ryder. The Maz Blanca? Yeah, I was warming him up. He's been playing Blanca for a while now, yeah. But yeah, we're kicking Street Fighter off the stream. Uh, they're getting that set up right now. So Uni 2, this game is so good. Yeah. It's um, it's basically a big patch to the previous one. It's the, it doesn't yeah. feel like a totally separate yeah, game. Yeah. But every character has at least one new move. Some characters have more than that. Um, the grid system got reworked a little bit as far as how things work. Veil off got reworked. It's a better reversal. It doesn't leave you completely fucked if you get hit or hit them. Like, I think it's a much better balance now. Um, and we got two new characters, one of which we're going to see in yeah? top four, because Ryder is playing Sarugi. Okay. Um, You're going to have to point so out. Oh, wait. I know Ryder. I can figure it out. Yeah. I, I got Ryder the is, the, is the, the one who will be fighting me a little oh, bit later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to okay. be on commentary here. Oh, and you're on top four. Yeah, I'm in top Let's four. Let's go. Uh, I'm in top four losers, so I'm going to stay with you for winner's finals. And then Brandon's going to swap in for me, because he's in winner's finals Perfect. right now. And then he'll commentate my son. Mis Mr. Undernight himself. Yes. Yes. So, um, Mr. B and Elemental, this is going to be Arie against Eltnum. Um, two characters that were thought of generally on the weaker side in CLR, but, like, this game is really well balanced, honestly. I feel like the tier list for Uni has generally been, like, Batista, Yuzu, Large Gap, everyone, and then everyone else is fine. Like, <laughs> it's you can win with the characters who are, like, lower on the tier list for yeah. sure in this game. I'm really happy to hear that, that you think that it's well balanced. Yeah. Um, you should absolutely give that feedback to Arxis. <laughs> uh, I've been spitting out the, the feedback. Oh, I, yeah, I think this do. game, I think Uni is, like, one of the most balanced anime fighters basically ever. That's great. Um, like, Enkidu won a regional, like, last week or, like, two weeks ago or something like that. And he's, like, universally considered bottom tier. That's cool. Um, and Grands was an Enkidu mirror. Oh. So, like... <laughs> That was that was a big event there, Ooh. and there were just two of them in Grands. Two of them. Um, so yeah, I think these characters are both pretty solid here. Um, I I don't think anyone has any idea the exact tier list shakeups from this game yet, but um, yeah, it's certainly a lot of fun. Damage is higher just across the board. I love that. Okay. So these are gonna go by fast. We are all best of five from here, okay. but it will not probably take very long. That feels good. Um. Oh, there's a really cool feature in here where you can go straight to uh, yes. whatever mode you want to go into. Yeah, that's like one of the coolest I'm things that they've added. You can set it to automatically boot up in training mode or in online or in offline mode. I love that. So I hope, I assume they'll keep that for the final release. So you can just like, for tournament setups, you can just have everything be like, turn it on, you're playing the game. Mm -hmm. At home, you can have like, all right, I just want to be in training mode when I boot up. Or like, I just want to be on, play online when I boot up. Who cares about training? Like, Who cares? <laughs> We got Elmer back on production. What's up, Elmer? Welcome back. I think you're muted. How y'all doing? Good. We're doing good. Are you ready for some uni? Yeah. The beta. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Let's see my we got God. In chat. Oh, Volcanic Akuma. Hey, what's up? Oh, um, we got we got T. Elmer, I think Elmer's pretty good. Um, Elemental's also just better than me, so I can't really tell you much. Also, but, really uh, quick, I think Elemental's pretty good. Shout out to Elemental for putting the pop bonus for hundred dollars, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. Oh, hey, let's go! Thank yeah. you. Also, shout out to Charlie for for um, talking to the high ups from Arxis for giving us this opportunity. I, I love y'all. <laughs> Arxis is the best game. Don't at me. Mm -hmm. Back ca for Capcom. I mean, yeah. what? Oh, what? I hear myself. There we go. Oh no. There we go. Now we can see that beautiful face. Let's see. Let's see. If oh, I can't see. There we go. All right. I'm gonna message him again. Be like, we're so starting. So we're uh, we're trying. We're just trying to get online. The beta only works if you're connected to the internet. So ah. we're oh, just waiting to get online. One of those kind. That's pretty um, cool. Okay. Yeah. Even even offline only works if you're connected. Okay. I assume just because they need to like check that it's still in the beta window or something. So you can download the beta on PS4, PS5. As I'm mm -hmm. I'm aware. Like you said, it has to yep. be online, but it has offline, online, 
in Training Mode, right? Yes. It has basically all the features except like ranked and custom rooms. That's all I need. Uh, I gotta try out the game anyways. Yeah, we don't have we don't have custom rooms yet, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't choose who you play online. Oh, okay. Uh, it's only random online. But um, everything else is here basically. You can boot up and play offline. They're online. There's infinite rematching online. You're not like restricted to a best of three or best of five, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, we're struggling here with the uh, the everything. Okay. Um. Uh, Charlie, you want, you want to be a homie and look up bracket for um, the uni? Yeah. Nice, because I don't know how to do that from where I am. Yeah, I'm so it's, um, it's Mr. B and Elemental in winners. It's me against Ryder in losers. Nice, nice, so nice. we're starting with winners Ooh. finals. It'll be Mr. B or Rie against Elemental Eltham. That's just slaps. Yes. Oh, yeah. The jams. Uni music has always been the best. Okay, I, okay, this okay. game has, like, the best soundtrack in fighting games, I think. I love the soundtrack and, like, the screen select from the last from the last. Oh, movie. yeah. That's just so iconic. You hear that in every song and every background. It's so good. Leonay's theme is also one that's used in, like, background of a lot of videos. Nightwalker. That's you know, a great song. You know what's also good? I personally, I think one of my best favorite songs, because I just like really intense music, is Makava's theme. Yeah, that's oh a good one. Oh, my God. Ooh. Makava and Gordo, I feel like, are my favorites Gordo, of, like, that definitely. vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaos is, is also just very relaxing. Mm -hmm. It's very chill, which is very funny, because playing Chaos is not chill. It's really hard. Oh, God. Um, um, <laughs> there's also another character I like a lot. Um, I think her name's Lynn. She has, like, one Lene, long. yeah. Yeah, she has one long, so one short short. I forget, yeah. like... I look at oh, small girl, big sword, also small sword. Right. <laughs> I look at <laughs> like, whose theme is this? Like, oh, her theme's kind of sucks, and I always it's think great. it's hers. Yeah. I oh love her theme. God. Yo, this. All right. I'm I got excited. the bracket. We're, We're just talking about the music. So I mentioned this earlier, but now that Elmer's back, I'll just mention. So the characters we have are mm -hmm. going to be Arie and Eltham in winners, with okay. me and Elemental. And losers, it's me and Ryder. I play Nanase, and Ryder is playing Sarugi, the new shield guy. Nice. So this we're going to see one of the new characters on stream. Um, if I had had a little more time to lab, maybe you'd also see Kaguya, but I'm just sticking to Nanase. I see. We, we have noticed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is finals? Winner's finals? This is winner's finals, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I don't know if they're sitting on that side, but it's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah that should be correct. Elemental player one. Cool. This person, I don't think they signed in as Elemental. I think they signed in as something else. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, okay. We're just gonna restart, apparently. We're doing our best. We will have, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll we will have uni for you very soon. We have had like no issues all day. This is really funny. Hi again. Hello again. <laughs> it's us again. We're back. How are you doing, Charlie? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm definitely starting to hit that wall. We're creeping up to 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so excited to see some 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 new uni. So what's the this um, so cool. Sis Celeste is the right one. Sis Celeste is yeah. it this one? Right? Oh, no, no okay. you were just on it, yeah. Sis Celeste. Nice, nice, nice. Done. Yep, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> they took away some of the unreasonably long title. We don't have <laughs> multiple strings of random letters anymore. Just under night in birth to Sis Celeste. Sis Celeste, okay. I mean, I like how like the name's so long that people like trying to abbreviate yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, do I, uh, yeah. Even the abbreviation got pretty long. Like, we got really? all the way to Uniclear for the last game. Right. There was it wasn't the one before that was late something. It was, well, it was Eunice, which Eunice. was Undernight in Birth Exe Late St. Right. The one before it was the same without the St. Right. So that was called Uniel. Okay. For Exe Late. Mm -hmm. And then you then the St. was Eunice, and then mm. the CLR was Uniclear. Right. So now we've got Uni Two. Okay. And we're just gonna stick with Uni Two. Okay. Yeah. So went I want to pick I want to pick your mm -hmm. brain a little bit. So I know a lot of people have the differences with um, clear. What's mm -hmm. your two cents on that? Yeah, so um, I love the changes as an Anase player because they okay. gave us Milia disc for some reason. Nice. I don't know why, but okay. it's very fun. Okay. Um, the characters that we're also going to see here, Arie got a new super where Thanatos just like flies out of the sky at you. Mm -hmm. it's for anyone who's seen that weird Axel move in the old Guilty Gears where he like goes up and down like a UFO, yes. it's like that but as an assist. Okay. Wow. Like her, her little... Phantom dude does that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's fun. I don't really know what Eltonum got. I okay. played Elemental for like an hour and I have no idea what was going on. But uh <laughs> So then do you But yeah. Okay, so like cuz I know I talked to a lot of people who play clear and they just don't like it because they say it's like they changed the main doesn't make a lot of sense. It just made the game. Oh, I think it's great. Okay, cool. It's, so damage is up across the board. This okay. game moves faster. Uh, everything also just feels faster, I okay. think in this game right and now. And I'm referring to the last game, not this one. Um, 
Oh, clear versus ST? Yes. Yeah, I didn't play Eunice. Oh, I'm, okay. I don't go that far. Well, I did, but I didn't play it well. Okay. <laughs> I okay. was a very bad Carmine player, and then Uniclear came out, and I got to be a somewhat decent, not a safe player. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Um, Looks like T Wong in chat is a uh, clear hater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really well, excited. he was an Elton player, right? They, they really screwed over Elton from uh, <laughs> from ST to CLR. Um, Eunice was a really cool game. It definitely looks cool. And I I like CLR a lot as well. Nana say definitely keeps getting better, it seems. She also keeps getting more popular. Nanase did not used to be very popular, and now she's, like, maybe the most common character after Hyde. Who's and Hyde's, like, the Shoto. Who's Nanase? Nanase is the wind girl. Big sword, wind fireballs, pigtails. Does, does she have, like, these little wings on her shoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. School uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. wind powers, she's yeah. Fun. Nice. Okay. She's very fun. She's got an area. She's got fireballs only <laughs> in the air, mm. and then on the ground she has sword car. Which I don't know what it's actually called. Everyone calls it sword car. Okay. She literally just like jumps on her sword and just rides across the whole screen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, which is a combo tool, but uh, it's a neutral tool if you believe. So huh. <laughs> one of those. Okay, cool. Um, That's powerful. I love it. Listen right. to the to Here the Nanase Bicorn remix. Oh, I, I got you. I'm. I love Nanase's theme. This was an unpopular opinion in the last game. Really? I think it's great. Okay. Now it's just like better in general. Really? Now I think it's just a good song. Wait, so this is the difference between this um, soundtrack and the they last They remixed them. They're like oh. the same songs with like new arrangements and new instruments and okay. stuff. I hope um, they made it better. They're all like recognizable as the same okay, songs. Okay. But yeah, Nanase's theme got kind of an overhaul to not sound like that anymore. Okay. Um, like that. <laughs> all right, we can swap over to the uh, to the game now because we are right. gotten yeah. into it here. I it's, got you, seems fam. Seems like we don't have sound though. Oh no. Oh, cause you. Are we on PS4 or PS5? We're on PS4. PS4. Okay. Oh, uh, what's the solution to that? Damn. Damn. Um. Does that make her own I sound. I'll feel like I hear it. It's just really quiet. Let me let me ask the support really quick. I don't know. BRB. Okay. Two characters. Ah. Okay. So. <laughs> Point out the new characters for okay, me. Okay, so the new character, we got Quan locked on the top left. He's not playable in the beta okay. yet. Um, second from the bottom left is Sarugi, the guy with the orange hair and the giant smile. Okay. Um, the far top right of the CSS is Kaguya. Far um, top right, yeah. this one? So okay. Kaguya is the, um, the girl with the two guns and all the movement stuff. Mm. Sarugi is just big shield, big armor, everything. Huh? Um, you will see Sarugi in Losers when you see me and uh, Ryder, because Ryder's playing Sarugi. Wait, point to your character. I play Nanase. She's here, uh, okay. third from the left on the top row, next to her friend Phonon. I play this character. Of course you do. <laughs> I could have told you that. The big boy. <laughs> there, I think you'd also like Enkidu in this game. Yeah. I know he's not as big, but he, he is fairly big, and like, he has big buttons. He's this guy okay. with the white oh. hair and the, the martial artist in the yeah. middle of the bottom row. And Kadu also has like my favorite lore of pretty much any fighting game character. What's his lore? So the the basic story. I'm not gonna get too into the uni story because it's <laughs> insane. But the basic premise of like where they all get their powers from. Oh, there we nice. Go. Sound. So the basic Let's idea go. is that there's this thing called EXS. Yeah. They they like they all have EXS for some reason, and that's where they get these like superpowers or whatever. Um. And yo, then you yo, have really yo, funny yo. things like yo. What's How y'all doing? How y'all doing, ladies? Um. It was, uh, we have sound, sound now. It, yeah. it was player two problem. Awesome. So. Ah. All right. Okay, we'll figure it out. Show to show, run on. So yeah, so they, they all have these like this like EXS powers. And you have people like Carmine just used to like fight people for fun. Okay. He fought someone with EXS, now he has EXS. Enkidu barely has any of it, and he's just so good at martial arts that he can compete with them. And that's his entire backstory. Right. It's very funny. I'm loving the all right, this is a beautiful new stage. Oh yeah, this is a nice stage. So yeah, this is a new stage, I think. Oh, tight. Uh, Yo, I yeah, seen so her, I think, on Evo with somebody with the crowd was like, uh, 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 reload, uh, uh, yeah. reload, that was reload, crazy. Reload, yeah. So you will, so Elton has a command grab now. Oh, That wow. is a new thing. Uh, command grabs, for the most part, are techable in this game. Mm. Uh, and some of them have fairly big windows to tap. But if you're shielding, you get grid broken and you can't tap. Oh, wow. Um, so having that long a range of a command grab to beat shield. Um, Brandon can give you a better explanation of shield than I can once he's on. Um, but for now, he is playing the game. Um, but yeah, so Elton has always done a lot of damage. That is, I think, the uh, the big thing to notice about her. Her damage has always been really good, and now it's like insane. 
He's also got really good screen control with the big bullets with Ricochet like that you see there. And on counter hit, you can combo off that for pretty much full screen. Uh, I think Brandon is dead. Yeah. Yo, shout out Elemental. So, the, yeah, as I said, these games go fast. Mm. Like, regardless of who wins, this is going to be really quick. Yeah, that's fast? Like, that's Tell a nice more. Pacing. Yeah. Which is interesting. Uni was not a particularly fast game. Oh, really? On the last game. I would say by anime game standards, it was on the slower side. Oh, okay. Um, like, this is a game where it was reasonable to time out, whereas, like, Strive, I think I've seen maybe three timeouts since release. Mm. Like. Yeah. Okay, so now Brandon's. Um, uh, Marie is terrifying when she gets you in the corner. Uh, oh, there we see the chain shift. So, important thing for anyone new to Uni, at the very bottom of the screen you see the grid meter. Yes. If it's in the middle of the screen, you'll see the, the fighting for it. So whoever has more of those little diamonds, when the cycle ends, which is when the circle fills up up at the top, they win the cycle, which means they get various benefits that change my character, and also they get access to chain shift. Chain Shift is like a Roman cancel, but better in basically every way. Nice. Um, so it's like Exert YRC, where you like screen freeze and you can react to it. But you get to do, you get meter from it based on how much grid you have, and you get like way more time to react. Um, and like anything you do out of it will be basically anything that's there. So like there you see the Chain Shift to react to the active move, and you see a DP to beat it. Um, that full screen charge thrust is safe. Um, and this should kill? Yep, okay, so I guess pick up. So yeah, another quick game here at 1-1. One, one. Um, and the grid cycle is really the one of the defining mechanics of Undernight. Um, CS is just so powerful. Like, wake up, chain shift, you just have to respect. Because if you're pressing anything, they will hit you for it. Um, with a couple of exceptions that some characters don't have reversals without meter. And some characters don't even have reversal until they have 200 meter. But... Still, you have to respect Wake Up CS quite a bit in general. So there you see the use offensively. Brandon not able to get the combo out of it, but it does get a good situation. Now playing defense. Also really hard to deal with in those situations. She has that little dash that can cross you up. Um, v wins the cycle though, so we'll have Wake Up CS here. Yep, there it is. Nice whip punish there. This? Oh, that should have killed, but yes, it's 6B instead of 5B. Yep. That's unfortunate. Uh, a Rie 6B is one of the best overheads you will ever see, but it is not nice. a combo tool for the most part. Okay, time to defend for your life. Okay, good defense. And there we see the new mechanic. So there is now a role in this game. Uh -huh. Kind of like a King of Fighters role. Oh, this might kill. Um, and it's basically, you hit 3 and D. D is like the shield button and all that. Uh, this is like a 3 and a half button game. You have ABC or your buttons, and D is like other stuff. Yeah. Um, if you hit 3D, so down for D, um, you roll through your opponent. And if you roll through something, you're invulnerable until you are out of the lag. Um, the roll is also, uh, it is throwable, as most rolls are in, in most 2D fighting games. Um, oh, it's not there again. And also, if you roll through a projectile, sometimes you can get punished. Ah, see. So, the mind game, right? Uh, yeah, there seems to be a lot of depth to it. We're all kind of still figuring out how it works. Of course, it's a brand new mechanic. Yep. Okay, this is a big punish here. This is such a weird detail that I've noticed, but when the character takes damage, their profile, like, jitters. Yes. And, like, <laughs> like from, from, like, a visual design, it's, it's really, like, it's just eye-catching enough to understand. Yeah. So maybe if we were just spectating, you don't, like, super understand what's going on, like, like... Yeah, oh, this character is getting hit yeah. right now, yeah. Like, the more damage they take, like, it looks like they jitter faster. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's really clever. This game aesthetically has always been so nice, and I love all the changes they've made. I wish the UI was a little bit more like, like, like I wish I had more of an identity. Um, right. It looks very... It is definitely very plain. Basic, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, the dark is bright. Oh, that wind, why are they almost hitting there? This might kill. Go into Veil Off here. No, it doesn't go for it. Okay, so one more chance for Mr. B. Does not attack the command grab. We are all... Still getting used to Eltnum having a command grab. Um, Eltnum did not grab. have a command grab before this game. 
And it's gonna be first of three, correct? We are all first of three from here on out. Okay, nice. Uh, we are just in top four. Oh, Ooh, big punish. Okay. Missed the big punish, but still a lot of damage. Oh, really good assault there. Oh, right. This she now has a grounded command grab, like from the whip moves. She has just like a grounded long range command grab. Like where she had a hit grab before, she also has a command grab. Or maybe instead of, I don't know. I haven't played her. Nice bait, that was really good. Yeah, she has some version of her DP that she can jump cancel. I don't believe it is invincible. Um, that's also what you see a lot with, like, you'll see Mr. B going for the A DP for a Rie, which juggles like that. Uh, you'll also see him use it as a reversal when he has CS, even though it's not a real reversal, just because it's fast and you can whip cancel it. Whereas uh, the invincible ones can't be whip canceled. That should kill. Alright, that'll take us to game five. So, um, we are going to game five on this first stat here. Uh, still has not been particularly long so far. So, one more game here. Yeah, as I mentioned, big damage yes. everywhere. We saw some dropped combos that did 3,000 damage. That, like, wow. <laughs> That's insane. This com is cool. Full combos usually did, you know. Aria certainly could get like five or six thousand damage with full resources, but like her normal combos didn't usually go too far beyond like 35, 3600 in the last game. Uh, health bars vary, but they're somewhere in the realm of 10,000 usually. Um, but in this game, Aria can do 4,000 meterless off of like multiple different things. And I sure did get hit by it before Bracket and in Bracket a lot. Like okay, so thrust CS. And so you'll see when Mr. B wins the cycle, his goal, if you're in neutral, is to just do the Divine Thrust right into CS and like take his turn back, make you start blocking. Um, this game heavily rewards good defense, which I think is something very interesting about it. Nice, he's not meterless too. So no meter spent, wins the round, Mr. B on stop point. Ori, what kind of what kind of character is she? What's her, what's her archetype? So Aria is a sword character who's also like half of a puppet character. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's got these big normals. Obviously, you see like the the A and B normals with these huge sword moves. But she also has Thanatos. That's her like puppet there. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really a full puppet character. It's more like calling assists. Yeah. Like her specials come from the little the, the big thing with the sword rather than her. Okay. Um. So. And she can sometimes act while the puppet is acting. Okay. So defending against her can often be like defending against a puppet character, but she doesn't really play like a full-blown puppet character. She's more like spacing you out with her giant normals and good mobility, and then she also has this friend who fights with her. Okay. That was definitely a misinput. Not sure which scene, which EX movie wanted, but not not that one. And this might kill. Yeah. Okay. Going into super. Nice. Okay. Now. All right. Last round. And tell me about Elemental's character. So Elemental is a pretty standard zoner uh, in, for the most part until you get close to them, and then she's got like crazy mix-ups for a zoner. Oh, no. uh, if you're familiar with um, familiar with Sion or Elton or whatever version of her from Melty Blood, this is that character. She's a gas character from Melty here. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yeah, this is this is a character that there are three versions of in Melty. Wow. Um, so. Scion famously has a really good jump C as a move where she like jumps and like flips and kicks you like upside down. She still has that in this game. It's really strong. Ooh, great punish there, but doesn't get it. Blocks the DP, this should kill. He drops it. Okay. Great heal off as well. Ele Elemental on his last chance here. Doesn't go into super off that. Okay. This is. Probably not gonna kill, but last chance for both of them. Drops the end of the combo as well. I heard okay. that she has the old Melty Blood uh, 6C now. Is that true? Oh my god. Very close game there. Mr. B clutches it out. Nice. And that is gonna be our first set on stream. Winners finals, Mr. B going to winner's side grands. And now I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna go play. Okay, cool. So I will see y'all later. Okay. Like me and Ryder, and the winner will play Elemental, and Mr. B will join on commentary here in just a second. Awesome. All right, Winters versus Ryder. What's up? Hello. You always look at me like eyes are concerned. <laughs> like. <laughs> I got those big puppy dog doe eyes. Oh, that's not gonna work on me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. 
I have dogs. I've seen, I take care of dogs a lot, and they all give me every time I'm eating. They give me like those puppy dogs eyes. I'm like, that shit don't work on me. Aww. You'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> <laughs> Just always so concerned. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What's up? Look at my on the stream, <laughs> like my bang hair. You look fine. It's, but it's sticking out like a horn. Oh, you got horns. You're a devil, like everybody else. I'm a little devil. Yeah. I mean, granted, you, you I'm, I feel you because. What's up? I can. Would you like to both join? Yeah. All right, then you will join after this set, because then he'll have to go So it'll just be one set. Okay. How y'all doing? Oh my god. Alright. Hello everyone. How y'all doing? Y'all doing great? Tired. <laughs> yeah, that was a tiring set for sure. You doing y'all doing great? <laughs> nice. Y'all excited for the beta? Uh, well that's for damn sure. Oh yes. I I've been loving it. Alright. Alright, so just to, so have you guys commented before? I think you have, right? I've commentated before. I, did you back in the day? Okay. Okay, cool. cool. So just introduce yourself just think while we're getting things ready. So Elemental, you, you can you go you first. Slip, slip the, uh, oh, the okay. Name. Yeah. I knew that. I was testing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Are Sorry, we guys. live now? Yeah. Yes, we're okay, definitely perfect. live. So I am Mr. B. This is Elemental. So we're the people you just watched. <laughs> and now we have loser semis. Uh, and the winner's gonna play Elemental. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's learning the matchup. Oh wow, the winters blocks the overhead. <laughs> Elementor, can you put the mic closer to your mouth, please? Oh. Yeah. Oh oh. But uh. Is this good? Uh, higher. Higher. Like right here? Yeah, that's good. I right, there you go. go. Okay, cool. But yeah, no, I, you're right. The the overheads are definitely something you just gotta like look at once. But a lot of people haven't fought this character very much, and so you know it's always a surprise to me when somebody blocks it on the first try. Yeah, he has a uh, pretty easy uh, super shield that Wagner has <laughs> without the install. Yeah, but it's also a stance. So the thing is, you always have to worry about it. He can throw it out whenever he wants. A stance? It's, it's not an install? Oh. No, yeah, yeah, as you can see, like he puts it up and then he can cancel it into like that little dash. Uh, there's a grab, and there's oh, that, exactly. Okay. So, yeah, Ryder uh, actually lost the first round. Uh, Winter's got a good combo to finish it off, and oh, but wasn't ready to combo off the counter. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, he can block multiple things before canceling. He's just, he's a lot of mix-ups, and you have to know when to make the right call. I feel like he, this is the kind of character that gets in the face a lot often. So For I, sure. I don't know if... Uh, oh, blocks the DP, though. It's a big punish. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those DPs on those hard reads. Oh, oh I was gonna say goes for the Oki, but blames the sword car anyway to get around with our game one, excuse me. Yeah. So Winter's... Uh, is, Winters and Ryder actually are regulars at the events that we run here for Uniclear, uh, but now we're here in Uni 2 and uh, they're in Loser's Semi, so uh, it's nice to see regulars performing and uh, even the old guard coming back. So, uh, but Winters off to another good start. Pretty strong uh, start right now, because apparently, because he's not a say knows, has some idea to go win it. He does like to use his new abilities more often than I thought. Oh, here's oh, the confirm. Oh, it drops it. Yeah. Wait, that's a command grab, or is that a just a regular so it's a, it is, it is a tick, it is a gold throw, normally, if you just block it. But if he, if he carries something, he can just grab you after it. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, I Oh, gets a... Rip break there, not sure what happened there. Oh, oh here's a combo. Oh, he's dropping. You know, he was hitting a lot of these early. Oh, there's the gold throw. Yeah, and it's a combo off of that, too. Yep. And it's... Look at this damage. And it's unprorated. Oh! Why is it unprorated? Uh, they like... Oh, my God. Why is that... <laughs> Bro, this character. Oh, what a good mash. She was trying to bait the DP. Oh, and there's the crab. Wow. 
Is that a cut? That, that's a command grab. No, so it, it, it caught her hitting a button, and so, like, it, it can, uh... Just like uh, the Elma, the new Elma, right? Oh, it, it, yeah, it'll yeah, work yeah. the same way, but it's just, again, it's close up, so you gotta be really uh, respectful of it. Oh, shields the overhead! Wow. So Winters has gotten every overhead correctly, and now a hard convert off of him. He's gonna be huge damage. He needs to uh, find different routes if he's going to try to use the overheads again. Yeah. I would like to see some rebeats on this character. Yeah, frankly, I do not know what Sarubi's rebeats look like. <laughs> oh, change it. Oh, gets grabbed. I don't know if she missed the TP input there or what's going on, but... I mean, it doesn't that's really matter anymore. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's still my turn. Let me just match a button oh, here. Man. My oh, man. Yeah. This is the OG. So, so that OG right there mm -hmm. has a long wind-up, right? So oh, goes for the raw. <laughs> <laughs> so I He's shaking his head. I think that was a miss input. Yeah. Anyway, continue about the Oki. So, so like that wind up, <laughs> it shouldn't be used that early because people can just wake up and match it. If they delay wake up, then that's great. Yeah, I think I think she uh, she missed the overhead because I know you can do the super into the six six C knockdown, and that's when you can set it up. Uh, and I think she just buffered it. But yeah, so Ryder off to a better start now. I mean, this is game three, oh, big counter there. All these damage. Wow, that's 3.3 meter less, which is, I mean, I'd say about average, but... Oh, this guy's playing around. <laughs> oh, gets the 2 push the button. He's trying to avoid overheads. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, welcome to Sarugi, right? He has a lot of buttons. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. good punishment answer. Elsa jump. Elsa jump in half. And I mean, if she blocked it, he might have died. <laughs> Oh, he's wasting his meter. Well, because well, the thing is, like, it, it, it burns grit. He had a life lead, and this is going to be hit, though. She doesn't oh, drop this. Is it. Yeah. He knows it. And that's it. Yep. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, he had the right idea, because, like, Surugi with a lead can actually just kind of sit there. Yep. The problem is Nanase is so mobile. If you get caught one time, this is going to happen. And so that is uh, so the very heavens. good. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it takes a while for that one to finish, but... Uh, there's one thing that I need to know about this Sarugi uh, character. Man, his BBs, his BBs are really good. Oh, oh my god, that's so impressive. Like, who, who is you about projectiles? I don't care about your projectiles. Let me just put you in the corner. Oh, and she doesn't take the gold throw again, yeah. But uh, Ryder was telling me before the set that his, one of his favorite matchups in this game so far is Batista, actually. Yeah. Because he gets a lead, and then he just holds the shield, and Batista has to approach him. Yeah. Uh, which, because he takes no chip. Oh, but see, you can punish the next option, and she was ready for it, so. Yeah. It's all a bunch of mix-ups. Oh, gets the low here. Oh, this is going to be a big... Wow. Look at this damage meter list. There's the meter... Oh, this is the 6 6 C again. Oh, boy. Oh, there's the throw in the corner. No, oh, base the DP. DP. Yep. Yeah, this guy loves <laughs> DP. <laughs> I mean, hey, look at Sarugi. Look at what he's doing. Of course, they're going to DP, right? Oh, What I like to see from uh, the player playing Sarugi, he should use his chain chip and or meter more. Yeah, he's, he, I, I, you're right, he's been at like 200 meter most of the game. Oh, that was actually a stance button. I, I don't know about you, but I had no idea that that's what a stance button looks like. So in chain shift, I mean, I would have matched too. Look at the damage. And, oh, he's going to knock down again. Oh, but wait. Lord, okay, I mean, Ryder's on uh, set point here. And that's going to be it. Okay. That was, that was a good bait. Yeah, he, I mean, it looked, that. it looked like Ryder was, had the right idea, but wasn't comfortable dealing with Nanase's buttons yeah. using the stance, so he'd just get hit a lot. Yeah. Alright, well, you're up. Already. Yeah? Fun times. Uh, I, <laughs> this game goes quickly, my friend, as you know.
got... Glad you know how to work all this. <laughs> I'm the one that's running all this, to be honest. Beautiful. Uh, and then we got uh, Miss Save. Elemental, right? Yes, yeah, so Elemental uh, versus Winters. So, uh, so you want to do it? Okay. And so this right. is Loser's Finals. Okay, Loser's Finals. Yep. My name is Elmo Galvan. How are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Pretty good. So, I'm new. I would like to learn about... Um, on the night, Absolutely. so I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions. My system is cool. I'm gonna call it out. Let's do it. If I don't, if I say like, "Yo, that's cool as fuck," what's happening? Please let me know. <laughs> I got you. Uh, so, and just for some context, <laughs> Winter is as we playing. Winter is actually the first to top me this game. Oh, wow. Uh, but so she was kind of the newer guard, uh, whereas the Elven player, uh, Elemental, he's been around since the first unit. So, and he's wow. actually the sponsor of our pop bonus. Yeah, tonight. shout out to Elemental for the like, pop bonus. Y'all better be great for us. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Ooh. what was that? She charged something up and she got shot out of. What was that? Yeah. So basically, um, she has. Well, the, when the screen froze, that's called chain shift. Okay. And so you see this meter at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, see how uh, she just did that? Yeah. <laughs> so you earn grid blocks by hitting your opponent, by moving forward, by shielding, uh, which is basically just good defense, and by teching throws. What just happened there is she teched incorrectly, oh. and so you get grid broken. So. The Elven player's guaranteed to win the grid cycle here and gets access to that stream tree you saw. So by pressing D twice, you can react to whatever you want. You can cancel basically whatever you want. It's a really powerful tool. So the whole game revolves around it. And both players have equal access to it, which is part of why I love this game. So we're back into it. Yeah, I mean, Elemental has very experienced in a lot of matchups. I don't know how much experience Winters has against Elven. I'm aware that Winter's telling me that um, Elton is, is a zoner, right? And what kind of character is Nanase? What's her archetype? Nanase is a little complicated because I will say that she's she's a cross between... Actually, both of these characters are a cross between a zoner and a rusher. Really? Where they both have, as you saw, like that bullet, you know, long range, right? right. That whip on the ground, long range. Nanase can jump into the air and float. Throw fireballs and then has these really long normals, but they both are trying to get in because they have some nasty mix and some really good frame movement. Right. So, yeah, it's kind of a mixture of archetypes. Okay, okay. One of the things I like about this game is that during Evil, um, Outnum was on the stage and, like, she was like, he was like, was like, um, cheering for us, like, uh, uh, Milo, uh, uh, Milo. I'm like, yo, this is hyper fun. So, the thing about Outnum, I'm not sure if you're familiar, she's actually a guest character uh, from Melty Blood. Oh, okay. And here's the thing, she's not in the new type Lumina, but she is now more famous in Undernight than she is probably in Melty Blood at this point. Yo, uh, but I've left, um, <laughs> <laughs> she is beloved by a lot of characters. She is high energy. Uh, as you can see, these games are going by real fast. Yeah. I mean, I played a game five set in like 10 minutes. Wow. Right? I mean, stuff goes by quickly. She's got these long, flashy combos. And of course, everybody likes the girl with the beret and the gun, right? Yeah. So, the, and, you know, a lot of the nice part about this game is that because of the, a lot of the general knowledge at Evo, people yeah. know what her combos look like. They know they're like, oh, reload, you know? And right. so it makes sense. And like, there's the reload. So people are ready for a lot of it. That's part of what makes it hype. Mm, shot in the air. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Winters, I mean, as we can see here, she is struggling with just yeah. the speed that Elemental's <laughs> playing at. Because I don't think she's very familiar with how to deal with Elmo. And bullets, well, <laughs> she does have that as a burst option. Yeah, she has that neutral skill. Yeah, exactly. And so Elton normally has these bullets to control the sky. And Nanase, as you can see, wants to jump into the sky, throw those fireballs. Right. But she also has this first option, and that's how she's getting all her mileage. Alright. Oh, but gets DP'd. Let's see, she has chain shift. Ooh! See, that's something that you see a lot of high level players do because the fastest option on the ground that's not a DP is throw, right? Is it throw? It's throw. Throw is frame four, the fastest button is frame five that's not a DP. Okay. So, what uh, Elemental did is he jumped and used a dive kick, which will be throw. Uh -huh. uh, it'll lose to DP, but it'll right. also be like a standard mash option. Oh, oh okay. uh, blocks. Ooh, damn. Yeah, so that is shot. Every, every character has a 200 meter move, so like the full bar. Winters went for it all. If it hit, it would have killed in one of the round, but yeah, and again, now back to trying to throw those fireballs. Elemental shut her down. Oh, okay. oh, blocks the overhead, though. Oh, it doesn't block that one. Elton does have one of the fastest overheads in the game, uh, so you really gotta know what to look for. 
So I realized that for her, uh, for Elsa, she has bullets, right? Yeah. She has great ones, and then she has one that's flashing the top of the uh, Thank you for pointing that out. So the purple bullets uh, are her enhanced bullets, and she only gets those after she's reloaded. Okay. And so those bullets are significantly better in wow. every single way. They're more plus. They're, they do more damage. They're just across the board. She always wants purple bullets. Okay. So that's why she ends all her combos with a reload to get more. But that was a 3 0. So now I got to go up there. That was a quick uh, set, my friend. I appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. Do your best. Winter. Hello. Hello again. Back commentary. Yeah. Hello again, everyone. See one unevenly matched set in this top eight, in this top four. Danny Godley. We have uh, two players who are solidly better than everyone else at uni here. I am glad that I could be the best of everyone else today, because I was not beating either of these two. Mm -hmm. So Danny Godley, I made it. Got on you, but thanks for supporting uni too. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you giving you showing us our chat, giving BP a little bit of love. I appreciate everybody that's lurking and whatnot. For well, uni, anybody that's still sticking around, waiting for Street Fighter. When uh, uni's wrapped up, we'll go back to Street Fighter after this. Yep, Street so. Fighter is still going. This is our last set, or potentially two sets, of uni here. Is this grand finals? Uh, yep, this is grands. Okay, nice, nice. Mr. B on winner's side, elemental on losers. Okay, nice. So, yeah. I'm happy with today. This is a lot of fun. Yes. This is, um, if, if, if these two are my only two losses, it was a success. That yes. was, you know, <laughs> glad I could beat everyone else. <laughs> um, do you know when does uni come out? The new, uh, the new one officially drops in late January. Late it's January. like the day before or the day after Tekken. Mm. It's like the same the same weekend That's or whatever. Be hard for me I'm very just in I believe it's the day before Tekken okay. 8. So, yeah. So um, I'm so excited for this game. It's so cool to have rollback for this game. Like even regardless of a new game, just like Uni with rollback. Finally, this game has the like old Uni has the worst netcode. And I'm a Smash heard, player. Like yeah. I I know bad netcode. Right. Uni was like as bad as Smash Bros. Um, Crazy, which um, is just unreasonable to think. Celeste has rollback before Dragon Ball. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> Under Knight got rollback before Dragon Ball. Grand Blue got rollback before Dragon Ball. Snoop Dogg quit smoking before Dragon Ball. I'm what starting to think it was a joke. What time are we in? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if, if that's actually ever going to happen. I'm sorry to all the DBFZ players. I'm glad I'm not one. So I started with Skullgirls, so I can't play Dragon Ball. It's just like See? everything about it feels wrong coming from Skullgirls. Can I say something? I kind of miss the old characters. Like this is very plain Jane. Because <laughs> the last ones had a lot of characters. This yeah. one is like. Eh. I like this one. I like the old one more. Yeah. Um, it's not bad, but it's like. I do kind of like the new CSS. I know people have been not enjoying it, but I kind of like the more the more basic because you have these like really fancy renders of everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think the basic background kind of works with that. I like it. Okay, cool. Um, the new stages are really pretty, too. I love that full stage. Oh, here comes the gridlock. Um, there's also some great um, some great remixes on the themes. I know we had um, Yakuya's theme playing during one of my games there. I love that song. This song is old as Can you hear over the people yelling? Oh, yeah, this is Nightwalker. This is Lena's theme. Okay, yeah. This is a great song. Oh, all, I, all I can hear was Arie and Alton yelling at each other. Alright, are we doing Swift punish there. A little good step back to show me that. Look at that damage. Corner? Okay. Alright, okay. so... Oh, and Mr. B wants to cycle out of that somehow. And immediately gets hit after CS anyway. <laughs> These two are both very good at playing against chain shows. Like, as okay. much as we pointed out how good it is. Like, these two are both very good at punishing people just for like autopiloting into chain shift and not being ready to do something after it. Okay. Ooh, okay. So that little kick there is a new follow up to her thrust attacks. Um, it doesn't really have any value outside of combos, but it does add a significant amount of damage to her combos. 
so the, I see this red circle on the bottom. Yes. So you see the grid just filled up there, and it's on Arie's side. So Arie now wins the cycle. As long as it's red, she has access to chain shift. There's the chain shift. So she uses to cancel and block the super. Uh, now, we are going to the next cycle, and then we see that Elemental wins that one. So now as long as it's blue, player on player two side has, has okay, okay. access to CS. If it's white, it can go either way, right? If it's white, it means no one has it right oh, now. Okay. The color is who has chain shift, the, and like the red is player one, the blue is player two. There it is, so Mr. V getting on the board. Um, these two very evenly matched. You saw winners, you know, game five last hit. So. Might, even have a, might even have a reset, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was, you know, one hit away from going the other way on winner's side. Nice for Mr. V to have that extra insurance here. Have two chances. Ooh. Oh, base of the game, no punish. No punish. Oh, nice, really good punish. Also, good awareness of remembering the new input. That move has a different input than it used to, so wow. <laughs> good on him to remember that in the heat of the moment. Uh, that was half circle C in old uni. Now it is uh, quarter circle forward BC. Wow. The air throw enter. Uh, Elton is the only one who can do that because she's a multi character. Mm -hmm. So you'll enter combo with air throw. Okay, cool. That, like, that's how you end combos in multi. Nice, okay. goes low. So wow. that is a super difficult situation. Arie is plus, it's almost 120. It's almost two full seconds okay. on block after that. The 2-2-C, two -two the big like circle thing. Okay. Um, so in that kind of last hit situation, you just have to block. You have to guess. There's no defensive option that beats it. You just have to guess right over and over again. She can do double overhead. She can go like land and then like rounded overhead. Like there's so many mix ups. She also has a mid that looks like her overhead, but it's faster. Okay. And then you can like cancel that into the low and hit low when they think they should be blocking high. Okay. In case y'all can't tell, I've been hit by these a few times. I actually introduced Brandon to Uni. Oh, we, we, I, I know him from Smash Bros. He's a really oh. good Lucina player. Okay. Um, he played Zero Suit in, the, in, the, in Smash 4 and Lucina in Ultimate. So me and Maz got him into Uni by saying, Hey, Brandon, there's a character with who's Lucina with Flip Jump. You should play her. Oh, really? And uh, now he plays Uni more than either of us. It's like the only 2D game he plays, and he's really good at it. Y'all did work getting him in. Yeah. We got him into it when it was, you know, terrible in that code. Oh, wow. But like, you could play like within the city of Boston. You know, okay. you could play people like around the city and it would okay. be fine. That makes sense. Uh, but like early on, or in, in lockdown, this is a game a lot of us were trying to learn. Because CLR had come out pretty recently before. Okay. And uh, oh. yes, he's been playing ever since then, like, you know, early 2020. And he's gotten very far with this character. This is a very uncommon character. He's not a lot of arena players. Really? How, where is she? Where is she placing the tier list? Uh, she's, I think she's probably in the mid-tier somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, as I was talking about earlier, it's hard to, like, make accurate tier lists for this game, because everyone's good. Like, okay. you've got a very solidly, solid top two from the last game of uh, Matisse and Yuzuriha. And uh, you may have some people arguing that Seth and Merkava are right up there with him as well. Um, after that, it's kind of unclear. Uh, I think Hyde, Phonon, Nanase, all kind of around that level. Um, and are really not too far behind them, but also, like, there's so few Arie players, a lot of people don't have a great idea of how good she is. Um, Eltman was definitely considered towards the higher side of ST and towards the lower side in CLR. Um, we'll see where she is now. She feels pretty good, but, like, I can't tell too much about matchups for playing these two, they're both a lot better than me. This is, like, this is both of their main game. Um, so, they are definitely very good. We have, we have a lot of good uni players in this region. Obviously, some of them a little farther away, like Fox of all the way up in Maine. Um, but we have a lot of strong uni players in our board shows up. Yeah. Shout out to the Boston Blue We're going to have the um, for you. I'll be right back here tomorrow. Yep. And uh, shout out to Elemental also, adding in pop bonus. Uh, we got $100 for tonight, so I'll go, I'll go home with a few dollars. And then we'll see how much Brandon can take from him in this set. Now, does this game have chip damage? No. Oh, okay. Uh, would simply be too much if this game had chip damage. Okay. Batista's the only Pikachu, right? Huh? Batista's the only Pikachu? Batista is like Anime Girl Guile. Um, oh, okay. she's the robot girl with the lasers and the fireballs and everything. I heard they, like, nerfed her, which is like... They nerfed her significantly. She's still probably very good. She might not be the best anymore. Okay. Um, See Brandon on the board in this game three. It is 1-1, one, one, again, super close again. Um, yeah, but uh, Batista could not be counter-hit in Uni. 
just like character mechanic. Mm -hmm. Counter hits did not count as counter hits against her. Wow. So you did not get your counter hit starter combos. Wow. And now counter hits are not as big of a deal as they are in something like Strive, for example. It's not, you know, you don't have the screen freeze, you don't have like drastic amounts of hit stun. Right. But it does change routing and give you quite a bit of extra damage in a lot of situations. Okay. So like, that was a huge thing that like, I don't think anyone ever knew why it existed, but she can counter hit now. Okay. Which is a very important change. Um, I have definitely heard the idea that Yuzu might be the best character now. Now that Batista's been nerfed in like an actual meaningful way. I would say this, the game is still early. Not yeah, we are also only a day and a half into this game. Okay. So. And when is the beta end? Uh, this Sunday night. This so Sunday we night. have till Sunday night with the beta, and then the game will be out uh, late January. Oh, that was a really good conversion. Brandon keeping the corner there and going on the tournament point here. For all of those who are watching, please, if you are just in the game, deep, get it, it's free on PS4, PS5, it has training mode, it has online, that's all you need. Yep. Go it's got it. basically every mode except like custom rooms and ranked match. Yeah. Everything else is in the game, so. so try it out. It doesn't have and it's only missing one character. Apparently Quan is like not finished yet, so we don't have him in the beta, but the entire rest of the cast, which is everyone's returning, and we have two new characters. Yes. And then we also have Quan joining once the game releases, and we have confirmed at least one season with four DLC characters. Wow. So, a lot of content, super exciting. This game's so good, I'm so excited we have this game. Also shout out to Charles, uh, Charlie, letting Archers know what we're doing. Let's go, what we're doing. Alright, so the Assault JA will take that there. Um, Assault, and we haven't really talked about it much, Assault is an interesting mechanic in Unity, so it's like kind of an air dash, kind of a hop. It's definitely less safe than like a KOF hop, but it's that kind of idea. Okay. Uh, you can use it on grounded or in the air. It's like kind of a pseudo air dash. And um, a lot of the time you'll see like Assault delayed button to land and be safe. But if you have Chain Shift, you can like Assault jump A, which is usually gonna be super fast. And it's basically unreactable. And you can Assault jump A, Chain Shift, and then full combo out of it. So that is something you can see you'll spend their grid meter on once they, or not the grid meter, but their Chain Shift on once they win the cycle. Did he get the full combo? Oh, not quite. That combo looks so cool when he gets it. Oh, this should do it. And he oh. drops it. Okay, one more hit. <laughs> Elemental blocking for his life right now, and that will do it. Nash is in to the Thanatos, and Mr. B takes it. Our first Uni 2 bracket here at Balance Patch. Let's go. So good stuff to Brandon. Great job there. We got Arie on top today. And yeah, thank you all for tuning in today. This is so much fun. I'm so glad we got to run this and get some of it on stream for y'all. Um, thank you. We'll be back to Street Fighter in a moment. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for hanging down here. Um, we'll be back to Street Fighter in a moment. They'll get the stream box set up for that. Yep. Um, but yeah, and tune in tomorrow. We are also going to be playing Uni at Blue Beat. I hope we're on stream at some point. I'm not sure. But we are on, we are here at Blue Beat, so if you're in the area, come by, check it out. We have a bunch of setups with the beta. Um, and yeah, come play the game. If you have a PS4 or PS5, play it at home. Yeah. All that good stuff. Beast was not dead. <laughs> All right. Hello. So, uh, yeah, we're going to switch back to Street Fighter, and um, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.